Welcome to Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Cleric. Oh. Kneel before the cleric. Not really, they're actually pretty cool. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good show. <laughs> Cue the <laughs> Gregorian chant. That's a tricky word for me. It's time <laughs> to talk about clerics. Not clerks. Clerics. 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 Uh, <laughs> priests with divine magic flowing through their bodies. Clerics are the crazy religious uncles of D&D. Hey, have you heard the good news? What? One cleric. <laughs> <laughs> they can heal preach, and call upon the powers of the gods to smite those unbelievers! Ooh, those unbelievers! Maybe non-believers? <laughs> I don't know if unbelievers... The clerics are here! Everybody, clerics are in the house! No, I don't know if unbelieving <laughs> is a thing, but I think non-believing is a thing. Mm. I don't know. Or we just invented a new word. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, it's all clear our first me. domain is... Arcana. These clerics worship gods of magic and the arcane, devoting their lives to them with a devotion to gaining power and spreading magic to all those who may have been gifted with it. So, they're the missionaries. Yeah, they're the missionaries. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> alright. Oh, look, and I've got death! I've got death! Well, hey, we're not going to be attacked by Thanos, then. Yeah, but Death, if you think about Death and Sandman, she's so fun! Yeah. Okay. Uh, these fa fatalistic clerics... Okay, this doesn't sound like that, Death. Okay, these fatalistic <laughs> clerics are obsessed with the power of Death and the underworld. They may be blessed necromancers or have studied the powers of the undead to better combat their evil. Ooh. I just... I don't know. They sound really thing. depressing. They don't sound like they're fun at no, parties. They really don't sound like they're fun at all. I mean, unless you're unless you're going to a death party. <laughs> like, I bet they're really fun at funerals. Oh, I bet they're great at funerals. Yeah, they're probably <laughs> really fun at funerals. They're the kind of people who would take you on a date to a graveyard. <laughs> Forge. Like the X Man? No, yeah, well, not too far off. These saints of the hammer. An anvil are tasked with creating the most powerful and ornate weapons and armor to defend their deities and liberate valuable materials from the hands of those who would misuse them. Sounds right. like a Mandalorian cult. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and grave. Okay, so clerics. When I think of clerics, I think of you know healers. Right, like and nice. Well, they have a nice staff with a star yeah. on it or something. Yeah, no, apparently they're all really depressed. It's like every single one of these have been like, oh, God. I think all the clerics horrible. are having an existential crisis. I don't know what's mm -hmm. going on. You know what they need to do? Defenestrate some popes. <laughs> all right. These, <laughs> these clerics see the afterlife and death as sacred. So seek to destroy the undead, necromancers, and those who would pull spirits from the next life. They're also... Really fun of grace. Just like the death clerics. Except I think they don't like the death clerics. <laughs> well, no, because they're totally opposite. Right, they're opposite. Grave clerics. So grave clerics are like, no, get back in your grave. And death clerics are like, like, no, come, come on. on. Come on, let's go party. You know I mean? Like, they're just like, hey, let's go all, let's, let's have an undead zombie party. Come Woo! on. Do the monster bash. Right. Monster high dolls would love them. <laughs> Next is knowledge looking to unlock the secrets of the world is the mission of the knowledge domain they will delve into ancient fanes those are temples by the way fanes yeah fanes fanes i you know when i you first when i first read it and you said it i thought you were talking about weather veins so. oh oh yeah so i'm fanes. glad fanes 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 f a n e s fanes i'm a fan of fanes fan of fanes I wonder if that's where Pan came. No, Pan did not come from that. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Search the kingdom's great libraries and scour tomes written in long forgotten tongues, all in an effort to catalog and hoard those secrets best left to 
to those who can handle them. You can't handle the truth! Oh. <laughs> you can't handle the knowledge. <laughs> Life cleric. Ooh. The stereotypical cleric. <laughs> These priests focus their attention on healing and preserving life. Mm -hmm. They are often the equivalent of doctors in high magic worlds or faith healers seeking fans for their powers. Hmm. Wherever they might lie on that spectrum, one rule still applies. Don't piss them off, or you'll wishing you had a death cleric instead. They're basically women and men over the age of 45 <laughs> who have really no nice. filter, and if you mess with them, you ain't gonna like the results, everybody. The life clerics really want you to get off their lawn. Yeah. Get off their lawn. Stop eating their vegetables. As good as their cabbages may be, mm -hmm. don't touch their cabbages. Next we have light. Worshipping gods of the sun and radiance, these clerics are the candles to the darkness of this mortal world. They spread light and joy to those who eat it and seek to vanquish the forces of darkness. Literally. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. Literally. Like Literally. Darkness. They're yeah. like, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Like Chris Traeger, literally. That's <laughs> literally. how literal it is. Literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> All right. Next is nature. Ooh. My favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> These clerics speak for the trees. And similar to druids, they are intimately connected with them. All right. We're not talking about that. <laughs> they seek to protect sacred groves or natural wonders from those who would do them harm. So they're like the tree huggers and people from well, Seattle and Portland. they're intimately connected, so they're a little bit more than tree huggers. I said we weren't going there. I never agreed to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And we're off the rails. Yay! You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Our next domain is order. Following the gods of law and logic, these clerics find their power in maintaining order and just hierarchies. They sound really fun, don't they? It's like if you invite them and the death and the grave clerics to a oh, party. Eek. Ooh, best That's party ever. That's gonna be... That is going to be one hell of a party in more than just one way. <laughs> Maybe a hellscape of a party. <laughs> Maybe a hellscape of a party. <laughs> Who invited the demon? Who invited the pit feed? <laughs> there you go. All right. So peace. 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 While self-explanatory, these clerics are more nuanced than apathetic pacifists. Hmm. I mean, you know, there are a lot of apathetic there pacifists. There are a lot of apathetic pacifists. They seek to mediate disputes, stand up to the forces of war, and calm the rage of gods and men alike. Ooh. <laughs> but that's their height. Really, they just want peace. Really, yeah, they just want peace, man. They just want man. peace. They, they just want, want peace, peace in our times. Peace and love, man. Peace, peace and, love. and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> All right. Tempest. Oh, like the Teen Titan, like Aqualad. Well, he was Tempest for a while. I was thinking Shakespeare, but you know. Oh, you were going Prospero <laughs> route. I was going Prospero. These clerics worship the chaos of a tumultuous storm, reveling in its power and destructive capability. These clerics are the protectors of sailors and of swift retribution by way of Thunderbolt. Hmm. So there are selkies? <laughs> hmm. <All> anyway. Right. <laughs> Trickery. Trickery. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> right. Masters of subterfuge and dishonesty. These clerics are the foxes that hide in the trees and trick those who get too close. I love that. Foxes in the that hide in the trees and trick those who get too close. <laughs> it's like that thing where you know in Fran in French and like any like language that you're learning, they have these weird phrases that you have to say <laughs> in different languages. Like the cat is in the tree, and it's like 
or you know, the cat has a top hat on in the tree with a <laughs> with a cigar or something like you know, something like that. And so others are like, these clerics are the foxes that hide in the trees and trick those. <laughs> Say that in a different language. I'm sure that's in one of the books somewhere. Okay, these clerics act as Robin Hoods or thieves to those in power, and always seem to have a weird love for Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> I just and realized doesn't. it's even better because you know in the Disney Robin Hood he's a fox. I know he's a fox. That's weird, man. I love it. I love weird. <laughs> I love weird. Twilight. <laughs> you got Twilight. Guards against the horrors of true night. These clerics worship the fateful transition between day and night. As to be expected, they sit in the middle of most issues and comfort those who must descend into the darkness. The Dark Elves really seem to like them. And they seem to always be sparkly. <laughs> Weird. Always sparkly. I'm not team Edward. I'm not team Jacob either. I'm, I'm team screw both your asses. <laughs> 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 I'm team go away. <laughs> Not really. I do like the movies and the books. They're pretty good. They're good. They're goodish. Yeah. They're fun. All right. War. Oh. Sing, goddess of the rage of a cleric. In the chaos of war. The faithful are forged. At least that's what these honor-bound clerics believe. Divine crusaders and fearless warriors, these angels of battle constantly encourage their companions to fight for what's right and destroy those who would stand in their I feel like this would be like kind of a Wonder Woman y thing. <laughs> or like maybe an Athena type thing. I think an Athena type thing, yeah. Like in the Trojan War when yeah. she comes and she's like, hey guys, you're going to fight and you're going to be awesome. <laughs> and you then do great. Aphrodite comes and she's like, no guys, you're going to fight and you're going to be awesome. And then Artemis comes and she's like, I don't care about either one of you. Just fight. I'm going to go hunt this deer. Yeah, <laughs> I got. It's I got whole, men to turn into deer. It's, it's the whole Judgment of Paris thing. Like, yeah. hey, you want an army? Hey, you want this really hot girl? Hey, do you want nothing? You want right. nothing? Do you just want my undying love? Because, like, I could give that away. I mean, <laughs> Zeus is a, it's just horrible. <laughs> so he Zeus is a bard. <laughs> Zeus is a bard. <laughs> Zeus is a bard. And we have finished with Claire. We finally. have. So... Thank you guys for staying with yes, us for so long. Yes, thank you very much. This I have been Shadu. And I have been Frey, and this is probably going to be the longest one we have, because there <laughs> were a lot of cleric stuff. A lot of cleric. A lot of cleric domains. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, and catch us on the next episode of Thrones of Classes and or Classified, whatever's the most recent, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.